when you first turn on your box, you're going to get this screen. Just takes a second, load everything up. All right, now that your screen comes up, you should run into this right here. It's called the Cody First Time Run Wizard. What you're going to do here is you're simply going to hit the next button. Hit the OK button. Next page is going to be your Wi-Fi manager. You're going to simply go up to the Wi-Fi manager tab. Hit the OK button. Here's going to pop up some uh, available access points. You're going to um, simply just scroll down until you find your access point, uh, whatever your Wi-Fi name is in your house. Ours is streaming TV. Hit the OK button. You want to type in your password to log into your Wi Fi. If you have the long remote, you just go over to the letters, hit OK. It types in the letter. Uh, when you type in your password, you want to hit the done button. It's going to say config, config. If you're connected right, it'll say IP config. And then it'll say connected and send you back to this page. If for any reason you've typed in a, a wrong password or something, the keyboard will pop up again and you'll have to retype your password. If you have AT&T or Verizon, you may have a WEP setting on your router, which is a security setting. You might need to call AT&T or Verizon and have that changed over to WPA. That's WPA. Our box will not work on a WEP network. It's an old security protocol. Once you do that, you just simply go down here to the next button and hit OK. You're just going to hit next on these next three or four things. We don't need to do a backup. We don't. We want to do a screen calibration, but we don't want to do it right now because when we put in the cloud word, it's all going to change. So hit next. We don't need to select a skin. No videos. No music. Now the next one is uh, the cloud word. This is the system that KBox has that makes us who we are. So what you want to do is you want to go to install cloud word, hit OK. It's going to pop up a little tab here. You want to go down to where it says enter cloud word. It'll light up highlighted. You want to hit OK. It's going to pull up a keyboard again. Now if you bought our QWERTY keyboard remote, you just type in my box. M Y B O X or you can type it in the keyboard with your long remote. Once you're done, just hit the done button. Hit OK. What that's going to do, it's going to download and copy all your files. Then it's going to extract all your files. And then it's going to show you a reset. And uh, we'll show you how that works. Now when you enter in your CloudWord My Box, you're going to see the downloading and copying of files start. How fast this goes depends on uh, the speed of your internet. If you have slower internet, we recommend plugging in an Ethernet cord to the back of your box. That's going to speed up your, uh, uh, your speed. Uh, yeah, give me one moment here. Um, so as the CloudWord becomes uh, 97, 98, 99%, what the box is going to do now, it's going to extract all the files. Okay. Once the CloudWord installs and all the files are extracted, it's going to ask you if you want to restart your box. Uh, you have to hit yes. We do want to restart our box. That's going to let all the chips.
So when your box turns on, it's going to look a little different. So when your box turns on, it's going to look a little different. You can see we got the images here, and we have all the categories. Uh, once you do this, uh, you see how everything's updating up at the top. You want to let your box just kind of sit for about 10 or 15 minutes before you start to play with it. It's got a lot of great add-ons and stuff that's uploading.